Good morning, everybody. Living World Learning with Miss Wagner here. Um, today, I'm going to be working on one of my um, hugel culture beds. But what I'm going to start out doing is actually collecting some wood from in my neighborhood. Uh, a lot of my neighbors um, clean out their backyards, and we live in an area where there's a whole bunch of trees. So they throw out the logs all the time, and because they're already broken down, they're perfect for what I want to do because one of the biggest mistakes that I made on my first hugel culture bed was that I did not wait long enough for the wood to die. Okay, so you can see here, this is, this is my bed. It is probably four foot wide and I don't know, maybe 12 foot long. I, I'm not really good with, th I have to actually measure. But what my mistake was, was that I used some wood and it did not sit out long enough after cutting it. And you can see little shoots coming up from the wood. And so if I can't get it to quit growing, I think I'm gonna have to dig this piece of wood out. It's, there's multiple pieces where it's, I've tried to kill it. And it's, it's a crepe myrtle and it obviously grows like crazy. So I'm going to be making another bed over in this area where I've cleaned and it's going to line an area in my yard that will be eventually a fence with multiple terraces that go down the hill of my property and I'm going to show you an example right now. Okay, so this is the carport and there's going to be a fence that runs along that edge right there where that is so I can have like climbing vines such as green beans and such but then right here where this line runs all the way across that is going to be another fence line all the way across the yard which is going to fence off the main garden area which is going to be in this side and it's going to leave this area kind of open so that we can have like a little grill area without having to go through the fence into the garden so this area will become that but this little line is going to be another bed which will be all the way to this banana tree right there at that edge so that will be a bed there will be a break right here where there's going to be a gate right right there and then there's going to be another bed on that side so i'm going to take a whole bunch of wood i've been collecting for a while there's a pile if you look way over there there's another pile by the grill and there's some bags of leaves and such that I've been collecting from people's yards to add. And so um, that's what I'm going to be doing today. And you're going to get to join me for this journey of building these beds. Because eventually what will happen is as this bed is built, there will be, see, you can see this is like a drain. So it drains through here, goes down. And I've been slowly building this up with rocks and it drains all the way down and eventually there's going to be another bed right there that connects that to that one right there. And the reason why I'm going to connect that is so that the water is forced through these different channels that are going to run, which I've been killing my grass so as you can see more wood I've been taking. Um, each bed is going to run along long ways this way the 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 garden slopes down like this all the way down to that part where if you go all the way back there there is actually a creek but we're on the high part so it goes all the way down that slope and exits my yard but it also erodes it's eroded this whole area which i'm trying to work with the erosion already i just don't want it to erode the shed which it originally was doing before we got here. That shed had almost was falling off of the off of the, the, the blocks that were holding it up because the erosion underneath the water was flowing really fast under there and eroding all the bricks as it flowed back that way. So I'm going to take it and make the water go real slow. I'm going to build the bed right here where I'm standing and then this trench will be dug out all the way across 
the property right next to that new bed that I'm going to build and that will water that whole section and then another bed will get put right next to it that will also be right along there uh, once I clean that area out so but for today we're just going to work on one bed because the thing is is when you are working on something a project this big you do not want to take and try to do everything at one time it becomes really hard and overwhelming and not only that um, you get discouraged when things don't go as planned so you'll see more progress for um, coming up and I'll show you what this turns out to be okay All right, so for reference, that's the banana tree and the dip. And then here's the big logs that I uh, retrieved from my neighbor's yard. He must have cut down a tree because it was a lot of wood and I took all of it. So there's the first little section and that will be built up all the way to the edge. This is the open section where it's gonna be a gate. And then this is the other little section, which is also covered in logs and twigs and sticks and branches. Um, so you can kind of see. And then right here at the end, this tree will eventually get cut out to the ground. I'll cut it right there and try to stop it. There is another back there that I'm going to be getting rid of. And um, there's this one right back there that's going to get eventually cut out and this section will probably be planted with some bamboo but right here at this little edge is going to be another bed that kind of lines the wall and will have stuff that will grow on the fence probably passion flower i really like passion fruit so that'll probably be what it what ends up over here if it can manage 